Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you happen to be watching this. Welcome to another Match Day Experience on the channel. How are you all doing? I hope you are amazingly well. It's Saturday morning and it's Match Day. I'm absolutely buzzing to get going to a game. I was really hoping to get one in midweek, but sadly the Debenham game was called off. And at this point, at 11 o'clock, there doesn't... There's not too many postponements around the leagues, which is really, really good to see and very encouraging after last week's absolute horror show. But today it is Ransom Sports versus Benelson Mary in the SIL Senior League. Uh, this is the current league table as things stand. Now, both teams have had a very good start to the season. From Ransom's perspective, they're in seventh. However, they are two games, possibly even three games, behind a lot of teams um, who are directly above them. So they've had a very, very good start. And Benel, since watching them on the first game of the season, have just gone from strength to strength, currently sitting in third place at the moment. So this, on paper, is probably the tie of, of, the, of the rounds in the SIL Senior. So I'm really excited about what uh, both teams are capable of, what they can do, um, and just to see how they kind of pair up against each other. I think that's going to be really interesting to see how both sides, different style of playing uh, will work and how they'll, how they'll actually get on today. But I'm going to be meeting up with Adam in Ipswich, and I will see you guys in a few moments when we are at Ransoms. Let's do this. So here we are at the home of Ransom Sports. Adam, this is obviously your first time visiting. What do it you make of the uh, lovely of the facilities? Really nice. Um, shame we brought the rain with us from yeah, home. Yeah, horrible. But absolutely horrible. What a lovely clubhouse and setup they've got. A few pictures here as well, obviously sharing yep. with the, the cricket team as well. But really nice. And uh, free cup, free, free, free cuppa. That is service. That is unbelievable. They didn't have to do that. To be fair to them, so we no. really, really appreciate it because it's. It's cold, it's wet, uh, wet, it's horrible. So this will, this will go massively. Proper good hospitality. Yeah, appreciate really, it. really appreciate it. So, uh, yeah, two, you know, two teams on on uh, on lineups today that I've already spoken about in my intro. Seventh place ransoms, two games behind everybody else. Started off the season really well yeah. against Benel, who Our watchers of the Monday Night Show will know how much I rate them and yep. what they're doing as well. Yep. So yep. this should be a very good. I'm, I'm really, I'm really looking forward to this. I've said it. I think on paper this probably is the tie of the SIL this weekend. I know there are. Yeah, you called that, didn't you? A lot like, of uh, top of the table clashes, but yep. I'm. I'm really excited for this one because I like how Ben will play. Obviously, haven't watched them first game of the season. I want to see how that's developed in the past few games. And from Ransoms, obviously, they had their game postponed last week. So this is their first game back since lockdown. So and how will they approach that? Will we see the same energy as Clayton? It's going to be we nearly see? seven weeks, isn't it? Six, seven weeks before they've, since yeah. they've played. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, very true. Very, very, tough, very true. We weren't let down, were we, last week? No. No, like, God go knows. back and watch that if you if you need to to reference it. The speed and the pace that that game was played at was unbelievable. Yeah. So more of the same. Yeah. Today. Yeah. Hundred um, percent. Fingers. Be absolutely brilliant. Lots of games going on across the SIL today as well as like yeah. you mentioned. So the table could look very different. Yeah. I met, I'm, again, I mentioned it in my intro. Um, at the point of recording that, there wasn't that many being called off, and I thought, well, gradually as we get closer to kickoff, there might well be, but I haven't really seen many to be honest so that's no. good we're happy with that plenty more to talk about and review on monday night but uh yeah we'll see you in a few moments when the teams are out i think we've only got about 10 minutes or so to go before kick off now today, we? we are a little bit late um but yeah i'll see you in a bit when they get when the teams are out
Time nil nil. Adam, what's your thoughts on the first half? It's been a funny one, I think. Um, quite sort of fast paced and bitty. Like uh, it's a complete contrast to the last week's game because we, we were talking about this kind of off camera, weren't we? Last week was very attack, attack, yeah, attack. Whereas this has been very central midfield dominated. Lots of tackles going in, and I don't want to use the word aggressive, but it's just no. been quite feisty. Yeah, it's almost as if both teams, What it's like, normally you kind of see a team that's prepared to kind of sit off the ball and maybe not have so much possession and they're quite comfortable with that. Yeah, yeah. Both teams want to be in control of the game. Yeah, definitely. I'd probably say that's the best way of describing why there's so many tackles, why there's so many um, decisions for the ref to make. Um, think, uh, like For me, I think um, it's it's looked like Ransoms have had the, or early doors have the lion's share of possession, but... Lack of the yeah. final delivery, and then they've worked. They've worked a couple of moves down the right hand side at the end of the half. That that was cut, that's come by switching the wingers around. Yeah, that. and it, that that's actually done bits for them. But you know, you, you you've got to pull the Benel goalkeeper off for a couple of great saves and yeah, work, yeah, working the ball. And I know one of the poor Benel defenders, his face stopped a near certain goal as well. So yeah, that was on right a day like today, that. that's going to that's going to hurt. Yeah, hundred um, percent. Um, you know. Ben have had a few chances themselves. Um, oh, goalkeeper absolutely. hasn't been really tested a huge amount. They've clearance off the line. Targets. Can't forget that. Oh yeah, God. <laughs> it's yeah, been a clearance yeah. off the line. Yeah, it really was. Punctuated by two penalty appeals, one at each end. So yeah. Thoughts on the first penalty? Yes. For me, that's a that's a dead cert penalty. Yeah, Stonewall. Second one. Clumsy, and you'll see him given. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'd, I think I'd, uh, I'd probably I'm, say that was a 50-50 The yeah. second one, the ref could have given it, could not. But well, the we'll first one was... look like a soul, I expect. But that's yeah. just how that's how it's going. <laughs> but, <laughs> but for me, the first one is a blatant penalty. But yeah, that's um, that's half time. Hopefully, we can start seeing some more of these chances actually converted into yeah. proper proper chances. Um, but yeah, it's been a good game so far. It's just not had the goals to reflect the play that we've seen on the pitch because both teams are very capable they've got some good passing going on they just need to have that final ball and this could be a goal for us but yeah I'll join you in the second half
cycle. 1-0, bone of contention about whether or not it was offside. Big flick ball went through. Um, did you think it was offside? I'm not going to actually call it because I, I think it would have had to be in line. They're saying he came back in an offside position. Yeah. Um, so, but I, if I'm honest, Ransom may have got themselves too wrapped up in the offside call. And then I think that's a fair shout. Uh, possibly drop the, drop the ball themselves and they're yeah. not concentrating enough. But to be honest, Ransom's been on the attack all the way through so far. So yeah, slightly really. against the run and play second half. Yeah, I would, I would say so. But this game needed that goal. It did. Hopefully it can spark it into life. 1 0 to Benel. Ten minutes to go and it's now 2-0 to Benel. Um, that's it, they pushed it beyond the reach really, don't they? Yeah, I think that's probably game done from this point. As I said, I know there is ten minutes left, but Ransoms were in the ascendancy. It looked like they were the one that wanted to create and go and attack and really make something of this um, second half. But counter-attack, failed to deal with it and um, Benel make them pay. You don't give, you don't give uh, number Benel 10. Benel just persisted in the box, weren't they, until yeah. that goal came. Yeah. You don't give a number 10 that much. That space in the box, do you? Absolutely no. not. But 2 uh, 0 Benno, and I think, unless something dramatic happens now, I think that's game done. Yeah. What do, you, what do you think of it overall? 2-0 to Benel, do you think it was deserved? Um, so that's a really tough question. Do you know, I think if I, on reflection, if I say anything, I think Ransom's deserved a goal for their effort and their spells in the game where they yeah. were on top. Um, what I'd come away from and say is Benel are a terrific team. Like, you can see why they're, they're doing well. I was literally just about to say the same thing. You can tell yeah. why they're at the top of the table. Because they're so efficient, so yeah. um, effective. And what it is that they do. Um, but whilst, whilst Ransom's made breakthroughs of goal, they, they just never gave up. Like, yeah. the, the, the tackles just were flying in, and yeah. every, everything was like a fight for your life kind of thing, and yeah. the ball went through at the back. So. I spoke to a couple of volunteers for Ransom's at, at half time, and they said exactly the same thing. You know, we're probably just about shading it, but they are not giving us a second to breathe. No. We, we can't. You know, do anything in terms of creating much. We can't. We can't try and build up any sort of play because every time they were doing it, Benel were in their faces and made things happen. Well, we've you know. seen some good players today. Though, good passages of play as well. The number eight, particularly um, for, for Benel, Benel that literally yeah. just made the game tick. Um, he sort of floated across the midfield really well. And, um, it was really impressive to watch and someone I'd like to see play again. I'm sure that wasn't a one-off performance. It was no, quite definitely cultured. Not. Definitely not. Um, but yeah, 2-0 to Benel in the end. Uh, four to yeah. you know, it's bloody freezing cold. It's, it's, the it's, weather's deteriorated. The, yeah. There's, there's no vision of anything. So. Well, that's the thing. You might not be able to tell from this because actually looking at the camera right now, 
it looks all right but actually being here i think another 10 minutes if because we had the half time was shortened down to five minutes wasn't it Just, it was very very, very quick yeah i think if we if we'd have been playing for another 10 minutes if they'd have played on any injury time or whatever there would have been no visibility here whatsoever but you know it is what it is um but yeah full time um, adam cheers for joining me mate no problems another great game in the back yeah absolute pleasure uh we will be back live monday night uh, make sure you are tuned in for that because we have got just remind me nick garnham from yeah. suffolk fa name nearly escaped me there but nick garnham's coming on the show um to you know if you've got your questions you want to get them in make sure you are there live um, and putting your comments into the section that will be absolutely massively appreciated but yeah We'll see you guys at the next match day experience. I'm hoping we can get one in Tuesday. Fingers crossed. It'll be a good one if we can get to it as well. 100%. So. 100%. We'll see you then. Until next time, as always, adios. Mm-hmm.